Hey guys, so I just wanted to say that this is probably, if it's not the last time, then it'll be one of the last times that you see this background and this room in my videos because I'm finally moving back home. Uh, the semester is over on Thursday or Friday for me, depending on my presentation. And then my lease ends on, I think, April 30th, and I'm going to move everything this weekend. So this is probably the last video that you will see with this background. And uh, the reason why I'm mentioning is th this is because my friend Brittany uh, mentioned a video that I should record and it's just like a perfect time to do this. So her suggestion was how to live with roommates. And if you go away for college or university, then you will most likely have to live with roommates. And this was my first year living with anyone other than like my family and Alex. So it was like a huge shock for me because last year when I moved to Toronto, I got lucky and was able to live by myself. And then this year was a pretty big change. At first I knew I would be living with my one friend which was awesome like I was totally looking forward to that and we we're gonna live with someone else as well but then that didn't end up working out because the other girl had to move back home and so then Erica and I had to look for another house and we wanted something close to school so we didn't have to walk or like too far or have to take the bus or the streetcar so the house we found is perfect location but it has seven rooms so we knew that we would be living with each other and five other people so we had no idea who was moving into the house until September when we moved in and to our great surprise it was five boys so we are both like two small girls and like we're both pretty loud but we were just kind of expecting to live with at least one other girl we weren't expecting to be with five boys so that was definitely a huge shocker for me um I don't think it really phased her as much but like I was just like oh my god like I went from living all summer with Alex to having to live with like five boys that I don't even know this is scary and also our house is two floors with two separate entrances so she's upstairs and I'm downstairs and so like obviously we hang out and stuff we just like go through the middle door in the house but the people on my floor are less than desirable and that's because when I'm like trying to sleep the one guy we share a paper thin wall our beds are on the same wall so I can hear everything when he has people over all that fun stuff so it's like been hard to adjust because I'm so used to like I'm an only child kind of like I have two sisters but they live at our dad's house and they're a lot younger than me so I never had to grow up with siblings it was always me and my mom so for me to go from living with my mom to last summer moving in with Alex and then at the end of summer moving in with six people five of them I didn't know it was just like a huge shock and even though it's been eight months I feel like I never ever adjusted especially because I went home so often because I just couldn't deal with it. It was like hard to sleep because I could hear him on the phone all the time or Skype, whatever it was, but he was always on speakerphone and it was just like so, so inconsiderate and like we've gotten into yelling matches before and it's just like uncomfortable because like he's a big guy and I'm just like small like please don't kill me. So basically I'm just going to like try and give you tips so that if you are moving in with people or you do live with people it will like help you stay sane because I really really wish that I had a video like this so that I could just stock up on all of these things. So two things that would definitely be a good thing that have kind of saved my life because it's drowned out the noise are these headphones so these are diamond tier headphones and like it's super cushiony as you can see so like no sound is getting through this like I cannot hear a thing when I'm hearing these like I just see people's mouths moving if I'm with them but through the wall can't hear anything so that's awesome 
And if headphones bother you like me, like this is gonna sound so weird, but like they make my hair hurt. Not my head, my hair. And sometimes like my ears, and then it like just starts pulling my hair and hurting my head. And I can't really wear headphones for too long, especially because I'm usually lying down on my bed. It kind of hurts. So also, this will save your life. It is a pill by Beats and I got this for my birthday from Alex and it was like the perfect timing because my birthday is September 3rd and I moved September 1st so I got it like a week after I moved and this was just perfect because you can make this thing so loud and you don't even have to be listening to music like you can hook it up to your like laptop or macbook and listen to like if you're watching a movie you can just crank it up and leave it in your bed so it's like surround sound and then it drowns out any other noise because it's just like so much louder than your computer can go so that saved my life like so many times like I always would go home and be like oh my god thank you so much for buying me a pill because like you have saved my life and it's just like so worth it and then these I got for free because last year when I got um a new phone I had like $500 store credit and like really what are you gonna do with $500 at a cell phone store like you can't put it towards your phone and I didn't want like seven cases so I just got these so these are super expensive but again is worth it and obviously I didn't have to pay for them so that made it worth it too. So these two things will save your life because you won't have to listen to your annoying roommates and also this is super random but even a fan would really drown out the noise because when I first moved it was still pretty hot out and I would just turn on my fan and it literally drowned the noise out of everybody like when I lived at home and it was quiet. I used to hate that fan because it like it gave off good circulation, but it was just so loud that it bothered me so much. But that fan saved me at the beginning of the semester when people were just so loud. And I was just like, I can't deal with this. So like, don't get me wrong. Living with roommates definitely can be fun. Like I've totally had a good time with Erica and then two of the other roommates. Like we've been drinking before, like just upstairs in the kitchen, hanging out and everything. And like we had a power outage one time. So like we all kind of had to hang out together because it was like a dungeon in the house. And we were all like, well, I was scared. I don't know about anyone else, but it freaked me out that we had no power. So like we hung out and stuff. So like it's not as if it's been a horrible horrible experience is just if someone could be more considerate then it would have been totally different story like it would have been so much better but basically when you live with people just make sure to label your things because I don't even know how much cutlery I'm missing because they go into my side of the kitchen and take it and I'm just like really like I'm moving and I don't even know where half my stuff is they've broken some of my dishes and haven't owned up to it but I know they broke it because I heard it but I didn't know which one it was so I couldn't just be like hey you broke my dish and then it wasn't even them so that's all so awkward and it's just like you just have to learn how to be able to confront people and with people I don't know I have a huge issue with confrontation just because I don't know them so I don't know how they're going to take it and for me that's like super uncomfortable but if it's someone I know, I'd be like, did you break this? And then if they said yes, I'd be like, okay, that's fine. Like, whatever. Thank you for telling me. But it's just awkward because I don't know them and they never told me. So it's just like, thank you for breaking my stuff. And then also, like, make sure you get a shower caddy so you can, like, separate all your things in the shower. And then, like, leave your towels and stuff. Like, I have a coat rack back there, and you can probably see, like, the pink towel. So that is definitely a really good thing. Like, you don't want them touching your towels and stuff. Like, I don't really care if my shampoo is in the bathroom, but I don't want my, like, towel for my hair and my body and everything to be in there because you don't know what they do in there. And it's just disgusting. And then my more valuable things I definitely keep in my room and I also have a lock on it. It's a deadbolt lock so nobody's getting in here. Um, knock on wood, I have not locked myself out of my room once. So let's hope I don't do it this week because that would really, really suck because then I'd be locked out of my own room. So I try to keep my door like super open 
or like if I'm just going to the bathroom or I'll bring my keys with me or both because like sometimes I'm paranoid that someone's just gonna like close my door to sabotage me or something because in this house it wouldn't even surprise me and I'd like I haven't even really set up that much of my stuff like you can kind of see back there I have pictures but last year my room was like all set up I had posters and everything was hung up and this room is just like a mess I haven't even organized it and so like that's also really important like make sure you do organize it so it feels more homey like that is probably one of the biggest things I regret just not actually organizing my room and like making it feel like home just because I moved so much last year I was just kind of over it because like I moved back from Toronto and my mom moved in um with like her now husband because she got married like two months ago and it's just there was so much moving I didn't want to deal with it anymore and like I moved into Alex's and all that so it's just it was too much for me to handle I just like threw my stuff in I was like okay this is fine but I am really, really looking forward to going home just so that I can, like, have my stuff all together in one house. And then hopefully at the end of the summer, Alex and I will move one more time. And that'll hopefully be it for a while. Um, but that'll be, like, determined still. We need to figure out what we're doing and all that. But, yeah. So, basically, if you're living with roommates try and make it people that you know if you can't have like any control over that just invest in this and you will be set and label your things and don't be as like shy as I was to confront people because then you will end up being miserable for eight months and you don't want that because college is supposed to be like the best years of your life so don't waste it by just being like angry at your roommates for being horrible humans so I hope you guys like this video I know it was kind of like a rant but when I first made my YouTube channel when I was like 19 I used to only do rants so if you want to check out those videos just go to like the very first videos I did and there's probably at least like five to ten videos of me just ranting about random things so if you like this kind of video give me a thumbs up and give me ideas and I can definitely rant about other things um if you want to see makeup videos, definitely just leave comments on what you would like to see. And don't forget, once I get to 500 subscribers, Alex will do the boyfriend does my makeup tag. And if I get to 30,000 overall views, then I will do his makeup. So that would be funny, but I think I would rather him do my makeup first just so that I can do his after and like I don't have anything to like dread I can just look forward to doing his makeup but I think either video will be pretty funny so definitely keep liking and subscribing and commenting and I hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching bye